Welcome back to another video, guys. This is your host, Junior Garcia. Don't forget to hammer the like button, to turn on the post notification, and subscribe. Today, we're in Upper Saddle River, New Jersey. Let's hit the intro, guys. Hey, guys, welcome to another remodel. We are in another remodel. Keep watching, keep watching. So guys, today we're in Upper Saddle River. A little, little, what? Today we're in Upper Saddle River, New Jersey, right? And first, go back. Let me tell you the story. We kind of waited about two or three months before we kind of signed this project and our client um, got our contract and wanted to do Hardy, wanted to do different uh, types of projects all at the same time. Finally, three months later, we're here now. They decided to kind of paint, install James Hardy trim, brand new gutters, a GAF roof, new skylights, and a black standing seam metal roof. So today's actually the last day. We have uh, one of our painters here today. He's doing all the painting on, he's already on his second coat of paint to the entire house. The black trim is all James Hardy black trim. And then also, um, we install these decorative blocks and I'm gonna I'm gonna take you up here so we install these decorative blocks right and and I, I, I say again they're decorative it's not a structural the one upstairs all the way up on top it goes all the way inside the house that is definitely structural this is not this is decorative and now we already applied two coats of stain on this we were actually waiting almost a good week before the client can actually choose the color of the paint for the door. And this is the actual uh, color that we're gonna finish painting today. We're also, before we leave, we're gonna stain this deck, right? This is the unfinished look. And I'm gonna show you in the rear portion of the house, how we stain that deck. It's actually the same color. Come, come and see. Let me take a stop, look, turn around, boom. Black standing seam metal roof. Not also that, the garage doors are open, but we also painted the garage doors to be black. This color is called almost black. It's still black, right? So this is the actual rear door and it's black. Remember, it's almost black, that's the color. Also, this is the stain that we're using. I'm gonna say by far, it's one of the best stains I've ever, ever used. So if you're looking to stain your deck, this is the best product out there. Expensive, yes, but it's a better product. Let me see where Dago is. Dago! Dago! Donde ta ta? Oh, there you go. So he's upstairs staining the deck. So this is already the, the portion of the deck that's already stained. It's gonna look exactly like the front porch. So they, did so many, got the clients, they did so many test uh, runs on it and they finally chose this color, which actually looks like a real wood, right? Tell me if you like it. Leave a comment below and see if you like this, this type of color. So if you look up on top, there's a skylight over here, right? And then also there was two skylights there that the client said, remove them, we don't use them, and then put drywall and plywood in its place. So. I wanted to show you all of this, right? Because the house was a totally different color. The client waited, we waited for them, they waited for us, and finally they decided to pull the trigger and choose this color. So this was gonna be a James Hardy job, but they decided to hold on to their siding. You know, you know, if, if you hire the carpenter's such, you gotta hire somebody that's gonna be truthful. They asked me, Junior, what do you think about the cedar siding? I said, it's still great, in great condition. I mean, you just need a couple couple coats of paint, but why remove it, right? It's still in great condition, so they decided to go that route. If you made a, you made a, probably, you looked at all the windows and you say, wow, they should have changed the windows. They didn't change the windows yet. They're gonna change the windows next year. They wanted just to get everything stained and painted now, this year, get the roof done. Don't worry about anything else. And then in the springtime, because they know it's gonna take about three to four months 
to get the windows, they're gonna wait on that project. So take a minute to look at the drone footage of this house. Guys, for more content like this, don't forget to hammer the like button, to subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and leave a comment below. Don't forget, if we hit when, not when, when we hit a thousand subscriber, we're gonna give away a free roof. Keep watching.